Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Todd Reed, your local art dealer. And I was trying to figure out what to do for today's video, and I thought, yo, I could totally spice up my background. So I thought it'd be dope to do a mural on my back wall right there. So those are my close clock. So those are my closet doors. They can come off, you know. And uh, they got real, real dope texture. I think they made out of wood actually, and they're like kind of primed. Yes, I'm very aware with what my shirt says. Make sure you copy yourself one in the description below. It's for all my visionaries, you know, the creative people and the passionate people, you feel me? So make sure you go down to the description below and order you one. Got a bunch of other stuff down there too. So I'm gonna walk you through to how I would do it with a regular client. Uh, I've done a few murals, nothing crazy. I'm gonna show you how to take a photo of it and bring it into Procreate and then kind of do a mock-up there so I know what it looks like. And I might hit it with some acrylics. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do yet. I think I'm gonna do a tiger though. So that's like my idea. But um, I might ask my other little bells and whistles here and there. But uh, you know, stay tuned and we'll see what I come up with. So this is my pretty little house cat. We're gonna be quiet so I won't wake them. All right, so first things first, getting an iPad was one of the best decisions I made in a long time when it comes to my art career. As a professional artist, it paid for itself almost immediately. For the first day I got it, I did about three commissions doing logos, so that was a nice way to help pay for it. If you can get your hands on the one, definitely do it. It's a huge time and lifesaver. It helped me with figure out the composition, as you can see here. You can also get a better idea of what your final product is gonna look like. But I can't talk about this enough. It's definitely a valuable tool to have in your arsenal. So I went with the tiger for this piece because they're one of my favorite animals, especially because of the color scheme. I use something called split complementaries. It's when you use the opposite color on the color wheel with its next door neighbor. It's also one of the reasons that I like to draw foxes as well. I've drawn a lot of foxes and tigers in the past. I'm also adding my signature splatter paint effect too.
All right, so we decided to take a little break for now. Uh, she wanted to get some Beyond Burgers. Say hi. <laughs> she wanted to get some Beyond Burgers uh, for 4th of July. I'm a vegetarian, or try to be, so. <laughs> Damn, I'm like a real life vlogger. I'm like taking videos while we driving. Hey, boo-boo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This has successful little public strip. About to grill up some burgers by grill. I mean, <laughs> by grill, I mean, uh, stove top. So we happy as hell about that. Might eat some banana pudding, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> Are you looking so damn hard? I was like, why are you saying get over here? From uh, Mortal Kombat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, it's a good thing I spray painted earlier today because the second I finished, it started raining hard as hell. Look at this sweet, sweet angel. Oh my God. Hell yeah. Would you go to SeaWorld? Hell no. I can't support them. I can't support them. Their tanks are the size, are a quarter, like, like one a hundredth of the size of the parking lot. I know. That's fucked up. I know mean, you saw that video, that picture. Mm -hmm. Fuck that place, bro. They need the whole ocean. That's their ecosystem, you know what I'm saying? They go, they go crazy, they get depressed. It's crazy that you watched the video. All right, so now it's the next day, so I'm going to finish this bad boy off. I say bad boy a lot. I'm gonna finish this bad boy off with some black ink, one of my favorite parts. I'm just gonna outline everything and then it'll be all done. I'm thinking about doing part two where I do the other side, but we'll worry about that later. For the line work, I'm using uh, Windsor Newton acrylic paint. Uh, it's some of my favorite that I'm using right now. It's pretty affordable and it's pretty good quality. I get it from Michaels, but I, w I water it down here so that um, I can have a smooth glide because the panel that I'm painting on right now isn't the smoothest surface, but it's, it's good enough. So as long as you water it down, keep a nice flow, um, you get pretty good effects with it. Um, people, a lot of people ask me, you know, about line work. It's, it's literally just practice, practice, practice. I practice constantly. Um, I have sketchbooks where it's just filled of me doing the same taper stroke over and over again because I was so obsessed with getting a nice smooth stroke um yeah it's just it's just practice guys um and before you know it, you're not even thinking about it I, it's, I go into the flow state constantly when I draw because I've been drawing since I was three years old um I'm 25 now so it's just years and years of just drawing and drawing and drawing and not even looking at it as work you know um, if you guys want to see a video on how I do my line work or how I got better at it or um, a video similar to that, please let me know. So I just walked outside to see if my painting was dry yet. I look over, I see a little bit of caterpillar. 
that little homie. I gotta do this clear coat. Alright guys, so that's the video. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything else like this, like kind of tutorial-esque slash vloggy. Do you guys like the colors? Would you guys have done anything different? Also check out all my links down below. Follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter. I'm starting to post on there a little bit more. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.